What's up everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. So today is the day the Barricadier has arrived and he has brought with him something new. Finally Barricadier brings something we can actually use. Um, it's something that honestly I've been wanting for quite some time and that is a special version of the Grinlock. I personally didn't really enjoy the original Grinlock. I thought it was kind of clunky. Um, but I have sort of enjoyed the idea of it. I enjoyed the sort of design and everything. So I've kind of wanted a gr like a Grinlock Wraith or something all along. However, we've actually got a Prisma version and that is what Barrow Katir has brought this time around. So what does it do? What's it like when compared to the standard? Well, it's got the same base damage. However, it does switch around its like damage types. The Prisma has higher uh, slash damage and lower impact which means it is going to scale a lot better than the original. The Prisma also has better crit chance, much better crit multiplier, 2.9 times crit multiplier. Absolutely brilliant. 37% status chance, also an upgrade on the original. But, like, the biggest upgrade for me is the magazine size. 21 rounds in the magazine, which is... A huge, huge upgrade on the nine rounds that the original had. All of that, though, does sort of get offset a little bit by the fact that it has slightly less accuracy than the, sl the, the original weapon. But honestly, I can't really feel that when I'm actually using the weapon. So it's not something that's really hit it too hard at all. So that brings us on to actually modding the Prisma Grinlog. It's a pretty standard crit build. However, we actually do have a little bit of room for maneuverability here. And that's pretty much what we're going to work on. We've got in our slots, we've got Amalgam Serration. Normal Serration is absolutely fine here, but I like the extra sprint speed. So I'm going to go with the Amalgam mod here. Split Chamber for Multi-Shot. We've got Prime Shred for Fire Rate and Punch Through. I love Punch Through. Absolutely fantastic on any rifle. Plus the extra Fire Rate means this is very spammable. It's a very, very spammable weapon. Point Strike for Crit Chance and Vital Sense for Crit Damage. We've also got Deadly Sequence in here, which is going to give us additional crit chance. It brings it up from my like 50%, yeah, 52.5%, uh, all the way up to 94.5, which is absolutely brilliant. And then for our Elemental, for this build, we're going to go with Corrosive. Um, basically for almost everything except for the Corpus and the Corpus, we're actually going to go with a Gas build. And um, this build is actually absolutely fantastic absolutely love this build it works really really well as you can see this is a you know it's a 160 heavy gunner so this is no no joke of an enemy and this is what i mean by it being spammable and the reason why i love um punch through as well because the thing is the enemies do line up like this even in game like if you try like funnel them like i'm trying to do here i'm funneling them around that pillar you can absolutely do exactly what i'm doing right now and these are no joke of an enemy, and they, it is absolutely destroying them. I, I love this build. It is so, so good. And the um, the Syndicate mod works brilliantly in here as well. It makes this thing so reliable on critting. You don't have to worry about headshots. You don't have to worry about any of that. Plus, you get the sequence effect, which means every time this goes off, you get an AOE radiation proc, which gives really, really, really nice crowd control as well. You don't necessarily have to use this. You you can sort of switch this around if you want to. You could go with Argon Scope for crit chance. You could go with Bladed Rounds for more crit damage. Um, both of those on, like, uh, Argon Scope's on, aim uh, on headshot, sorry. And Bladed Rounds is um, once you get a kill and whilst you're aiming, you get additional crit damage. Those are options. Um, you could go with hunter munitions. Not a bad option here. But I find that without deadly sequence, it's not really reliable enough in terms of the crits for this to work. Um, you could go viral. I don't really recommend the viral though. I mean, what you could do is you could um, go with 90% uh, elemental mods, um, including prime cry rounds, and go with viral and then just rely on the slash. That's a potential thing you could do as well. Especially if you're lucky enough, I know some people have got minus impact ribbons, which will make this almost all slash, so the slash viral combo here would be absolutely brilliant. As I said, the serration mod is kind of personal preference. 
There's a bits and pieces you can sort of do to tailor it more to your personal preference. However, personally, I have found this build to be absolutely brilliant and just shreds everything that I put up against. So with all that said and done, what do I actually think of the Prisma Grinlock? Do I reckon it's a pretty good investment on your ducats and worth the former? Absolutely, yes, I do. Like I said, I didn't really enjoy the original weapon. I thought it was kind of clunky. The fact that you were reloading all the time, that the nine rounds in the magazine just wasn't good. The damage sort of fell off because it was mostly impact. It just didn't really feel like a particularly good weapon to me. But I have always kind of liked its design. I like the noise it makes when it fires. I like the sort of the, the firing animations. I think it looks brilliant. Like I love the look of the weapon. And the Prisma version has taken those looks and improved on it. It's got the Prisma effects all down the side on it. I, it just looks and sounds absolutely amazing. You know me, I love the theatre around weapons. I love like how they like how they sound when you fire, how they feel when you fire. And honestly, the Prisma version of this, I know it's got the same ver like fire rate as the first one, but the fact that you're critting more reliably and everything, plus you can just like line up shots, even though you've got the reduced accuracy, you don't really feel it. You just like bam, 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 like hitting headshot after headshot, like hitting enemy after enemy after enemy. One shot, one shot, one shot. It is so, so satisfying. While I was leveling it, I was just like, oh no, here we go again. It feels exactly like the first weapon. I am not going to end up liking this. But by the end of it, like when I was actually using it in the footage, like I'm in the recording in the background, I absolutely loved it. Like I said, just bam, 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 just hitting shot after shot after shot. So satisfying. You get rewarded with ac accuracy absolutely love this thing i think it is a very good worth like it's worth the format i think it's worth the ducats you're going to invest into it and it is a very very solid weapon ribbon wise i'd even say it's worth a ribbon i would go with damage you know damage multi-shot crit damage crit chance uh, minus impact would be absolutely brilliant this thing as i was saying the modding because it would remove like the impact damage and make it all slash like it would absolutely benefit this hugely then go viral slash and this thing is going to tear stuff apart it's a very very good weapon i think it's worth investing into it pretty heavily i'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun with it and i hope you do too so i hope you've enjoyed my look at the prisma grinlock i'm gonna have videos on hildren and her new art gun coming out soon but for now many thanks for watching and I shall catch you in the next one.